And I think this is the end of me and Morphe. Hi, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and welcome to Three Looks One Palette with the Morphe 15S Social Butterfly Palette. I hope you enjoy. This video was actually very difficult for me to film. Please, please, I'd love it if you give me your views for this tremendous effort that it took from me to complete this. No, no, do what you want. Anyway, I did three looks, one palette with the Morphe Social Butterfly palette. Keep watching if you'd love to. I'd love to see what you think of them all. Let me know if you have the palette and what you think. Anyway, on to look one. It's got a bit of green going on, purple, pink. So in my first impressions, I did do a pink look, but I want to go more in with pink. I'm going to start with pink. We'll go somewhere else later on, I'll show you. I need to know more about this pink. I've primed my eyes with the MAC Painterly Pot in Soft Ochre. I just want something a little bit more precise or smaller than the brush I was using. And it is blending quite nicely. It goes on a little bit patchy, but that could also be my brush. It's performing quite well, really. really nice lovely all right let's go into something on the outer corner I'm gonna go in with sorry I'm having trouble choosing brushes I'm gonna go in with this kind of brush and I'm gonna go in with makeover which is like a dark purple finger and I'm gonna go in with fame again so the shimmer is not going on as well I'm gonna put out the brush and the fix plus They just, they just don't go on nicely. It's really weird. I'm going to go in with Insta Famous for the inner corner. Below the eye. Let's just go for the crazy purple. I'm going to go Influencer. I bought one of the Marc Jacobs glitter liners the other day, but this is a glitter a glitz variety. All right, and then we best complete the look with some mascara. Let's go on with the Too Faced Better Than Six. This is this look down. The shimmers are quite difficult to work with, which is a bit disappointing. The pink is definitely better than I was thinking. I do like it. Just not sure. Anyway, good thing I've decided to do three looks. Alright, it's only been a couple of hours, but I was just about to wash my face. I put down exactly how long it was. And I saw how bad my eyeshadow is. You have to see this. Look. 
What happened? Something died on my face. Seriously. This is so bad. I've never had an eyeshadow like die this quickly. This is kind of hilarious. Uh, wow. I didn't even realize because I was just editing videos and I got up. To, <laughs> I got up to wash my face and just looked at it and was like, whoa, what has gone on on my face? I just had to share with you how funny this was. I can't believe it. I'm looking forward to trying out the rest now, just so I can like hate on it. I don't know. I've never seen this in an eyeshadow before. Especially with the MAC paint pot. That thing usually never fails. All right, well we better try it with all my primers. All right, I'll see you for the next look. Hello, hello, and welcome to look number two with the Morphe and I think I'm gonna go on with these like greeny colors today so I'll put everything that's on my face already down in the description bar and we are going for the NARS tinted primer on both eyes today mixing it up so I'm gonna put add which is this brown into the crease oh this is a really sticky primer when I haven't I like layered it on today I was like, I'm going to go hard. So I actually find the names in this palette super cringy, by the way. Uh, let me know what you think of some of the names in this palette. Like, hashtag side hustle. Oh, we should bring you in, shouldn't we? Hashtag fame game. Hashtag squad girls. Um... It's interesting. I wonder if it's meant to help people hashtags in Instagram. Oh, so I need to bring you up higher. Is that a bit better for you? I just changed the lighting though, didn't I? Well, I think we're stuck with it. green on it. This is not small look pretty. And this is me and my girls. A dark green. Going into the inner corner. So the Morphe shadows are pretty shit. And to be honest the best way to put them on is to dab 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 and then lightly blend. Uh, because as soon as you start blending them, they kind of get real patchy, real fast. And they do this peeling thing. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I've never seen a shadow do it. That brush is too dense for that job. Alright, and then let's pack it on with that original brush on the other side. You can sort of see how it's a bit skippy. I can't be bothered fixing it. Well, I don't think I can fix it to be honest. I think the shadow is just a bit shit. And this one doesn't really want to blend or anything. Beautiful. Nice and patchy. Mm. 
but can you see in this one there's like these little dots it's like peeled up heaps of skipping I don't know I don't know why I keep doing this to myself with this part, but I'm just kind of curious now, I think. And let's show you on the squad goals. Which is this color. It looks like fun. I'm just gonna use my hand because well, they're, they're clean. And it's so much easier, especially when dealing with uh, not good shadows uh, just because the well, I mean I've washed my hands but the natural oils and the warmth of your finger will help you blend out anything like this and just see keeping up with that dab 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 swipe 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 for that gentle lovely. I'm unsure how I still managed to get full out from that. All right and then something for the inner corner. Let's just go with the now trending shade. And it's just not really picking up. There we are. Aha. You kind of have to. Ooh. Look at this mess I made. Kind of have to dig into it. I mean, this shadow is way too much work. And let's put Meme Girls underneath the eye. I don't know I made such a big mess under my eye. Let's go in. Let's use. Let's use a freak. I mean, there's some whole weird strip going on over here where everything's disagreed with each other. I'm just gonna leave it because I don't really care. I mean, I do, but I don't. Let's just try and blend this in because this is, you know, melded in a bit nicer now. Beautiful. This is the finished look for number two. And we'll see you for number three. This always happens to me and I forgot mascara. I'm bound to forget something. So, let's put the bad girl bang on. Alright, now let's array film that I look up close because I know you're just loving this look. I don't know what happened to my face at all. But look, that concealer has just stayed on. 
Anyway, I'm super excited to get this off. It has been off on for about six hours now. We are coming in for the check-in. So this held up a lot better with the NARS primer. Um, still lack some loss, but I've seen worse. And this eye, not too bad. I got pretty sweaty today, to be honest. Which is why the rest of my face looks like shit. Um, creasing, all that shit. I mean, this isn't too bad. I don't like whatever happened underneath my eye, but I think that's completely my fault and the concealer and the foundation. I don't know what happened there. This is me fucking around before when I was trying to fix it and I was like, oh no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, mate. It wasn't fine. But I've not been anywhere that anyone cares to. <laughs> so, I bet, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna wash off my face because I'm about to get ready go to a drag show which will be another video hello um so this may surprise you to know but I haven't actually filmed in like nearly a week and it's because of this palette I started doing three looks one palette I got through two looks I just don't like this palette I'm gonna power through for today I'm gonna hold the commitment steady see if one final look changes my mind I'm just going to start off bare face because I'm feeling lazy. No, look, let me, I'm going to go finish my face and I'll be back. Let me stare at this palette for a bit. Alright, I'm back. List of all the shit that I just put on my face down below. Still going strong with these. Too Faced Sugar Cookie on the lips today. And I have primed with my NARS Tinted Primer in light. So, I forgot to assess what brushes I had around. I've just spent this whole time, I'm sorry my hair is a mess, I'm probably not going to fix that today. <laughs> uh, so I spent this whole time giving myself a little prep, you know, forcing myself to do this. We're going in with Latergram, which is like a peachy, uh, oh, look at that. Let's see if I can just bring you in. I'm gonna try and like see if I can master it not going on my like the focus going on the brush. Ah, oh, there we are. What was this the third fucking tap? We get some pigment. We got some little kick up going. Why is it only building up in my crease? I guess maybe it's just with the brushes. But I've decided that I want you everywhere. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go in with Makeover. Does it need to be the right way? Makeover. Look, and really, this, this palette makes me mad. I, I just don't want to do much with it. So I'm not going to do any fancy shit. I watched someone do like a double cut crease today. I was like, damn, bitch. She did say like heaps of times. Hours later. Like the amount of time it takes to do those eye looks. Oh my god, Lethal Kitten just commented on my Unpopular Opinions video. I'm shook. So this is one of the crown brushes I got from the FabFitFun box. And I have uh, officially cancelled my subscription, which I was a bit sad about. But it looked like it was going to be winter shit and like there's a blanket in it or some shit. And I live in Queensland. It is boiling hot here most of the time. Is anyone else surprised at what shade this is coming up as? 
because uh, I'm feeling suppressed. It is blending nicely. I completely give it that. What should we move into? I feel like these all already have hard burn. They all look a bit gross. I'm gonna put them on my eye anyway. So let's just, let's go in with Insta Famous. Sorry, it took me a while to decide. Um, yeah, it's upside down. Um, will I change that? No. This is the mirror. It's easier to hold. Right, I'm just not even trying with a brush for this. Oh, this is a pretty color. Yeah, I was I was thinking of doing a halo eye. Then I, I tried to put it on with a brush and then I was like, fuck that. I'm just excited I ever had me sat down to do this. I hope you're excited with me. Some fresh content. All right, and then got this, I feel like one of these Harry Potter brushes I bought off AliExpress. They do fall off sometimes. I think I just throw them out and that happens. This is now trending. Let's just use that same brush. I'm gonna go in with Add, which is a brown. Ah, cool eyeliner. Uh, I feel like I've done a really nude look, and I picked up toy from ColourPop. Colourpop without even thinking about it. Oh wait, is this a lip? Lippy pencil. Whoops. Oh, 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 let's get out. Asphyxia! All right, see, like, this is the shit that makes me excited for makeup. I saw Anya stamp it the other day do it where she like blotted her blotted the waterline um before she applied waterline See, I think I think that would work for me but I'm so scared of poking my eye let me know if you blot your waterline would love to know and uh, the battery has just started flashing I've just done my lashes I did benefit their real NARS climb oh, primer NARS climax and the KVD liner just um no I didn't try and do a wing like none of that business I just did uh, like a line above it I forget what it's called to be honest the way you just line the bottom of the lashes make them look fuller so don't get me wrong I do think this is a very pretty look it's nice it's subtle pleasant but I hate this palette fucking hate this palette I mean it's hate hates maybe too strong <sighs> sorry I forgot to record any voice for this but this is my seven hour later check-in for this look you can see some shimmer loss on the lid and in the crease it's not too bad there's definitely worse I've seen and I thought I'd just chuck this in so moving into final thoughts on the palette I think this palette is Morphe quality I think this is what I sort of come to expect from the brand nothing special only like half shit with 
the mats. The mats in this are quite like that. They're, they're not too bad. They're pretty good. The shimmers are pretty shit. And I'm pretty sure, like, I didn't even know how I attacked this one. Like, what is going on in this pan? What do they do? And they all, like, this palette's only two, three weeks old. I have palettes much older than this that look way better with, like, more use. If you're really on a budget and you absolutely cannot afford something better, then yeah, maybe buy this. If you look, yeah, I think if you really want to be like a Morphe stan and you are someone who is super into the hype and want to like be able to tag Morphe in like all your fucking posts, then buy this palette. Um, if you want to use good makeup, like check out Juvia's Place. I feel like it's comparable in price. Even in Australia with the shipping, it's Black Friday soon, mate. Like, I will be 30% off, you know. I'm pretty sure like maybe the Chi Chi palettes are gonna be better than this. I think I'll try them next, but fuck, like, this shit just puts me off trying drugstore. This is one thing I found. When I first started my makeup, it definitely started a lot of drugstore. I used to have a lot of Revlon. I used to have a lot of stuff like that. And that stuff's just slowly kind of left my collection. And now I'm definitely in a more mid-range high-end category partially because I can afford it and also because these shadows just don't disappoint like these like mediocre shadows you might have some shit shades but more like there's gonna be a standout shade there's no shade in here that I would go buy it for this one like if you like the layout if you think so this is $23 Australian I think I think it's $15 US, US. And look, if that's all you can afford, that, that's fair. Like, you know, you can create some beautiful, easy looks. You could definitely go a lot crazier. You could get those Morphe tags. But for the everyday consumer who probably just wants something reliable and that works and you can rely on, like a workhorse palette, this ain't it. I think the potential, like, look, you can absolutely make this palette work. You probably won't be that disappointed with it. But I just, I just wouldn't bother. And I think this is the end of me and Morphe. Woo! Not buying any more of your bloody palettes. I wish you all, <laughs> let me know what you think of Morphe palettes, Morphe shadows. Am I being too harsh? Was that too, too much? Um, I don't think I was. <laughs> but please call me out if I'm wrong love to hear it yeah this for me the reason I bought this palette is I was excited to try it get some of the Morphe tags to be honest like let's just be honest and I was super keen on the color scheme I do love the color scheme it's got that grunge with some purples and pinks you know it's nice but just the performance of it and you know like the amount that this is sold to me on social media that Morphe is a stellar brand like that that really frustrates me I mean I'd I'd go yeah look no like this doesn't this doesn't even compare to Colourpop look I do like the packaging better I'm gonna say though like this mirror in here is nice I like this plastic that's fun it's got a nice clip I just love I love these noises clip the packaging is stellar. I like that. I like this, you know, subtle shit. But when this is probably very comparable price to the Zodiac palette, and this has some standout shades in it. And it works, it blends. This shadow, this is quite older. The shimmers don't look a bit funky already. Um, this palette. I'm going to give it to one of the mums at work whose kid wants to play with makeup. And yeah. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the looks I've done. I think they've all been quite nice, really. But I just, when it comes to how the shadows performed and what I expected from them, they, they haven't done it. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. I hope you. You know, if you are new here, stick around, subscribe, like, comment, say howdy. Love to have you. I'm going to, 
now that this is over, I'm gonna try and do hey, something special with this. I'm not sure yet. What would you want to see with the gingerbread palette? Let me know. Let me know. I would like. Oh, let me know. Anyway, love you so much. You are beautiful. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. Uh -huh.